Hi guys! Oh my god, I'm so excited to be filming this video because it's going to be super informative. Follow me on Snapchat. You'll know that I recently gave my Christian Louboutin um, so Kate's some surgery <laughs> and I just wanted to share my experience with you guys and like maybe give you some information that maybe you didn't even know you can do. So this is big and this is probably going to be a little long because it's, it's there's a lot to it. So I love my So Kate's. They're the only um, 120 millimeter heels that I have. I and they are by far the most sexiest shoes I have. They're they're one of my most sexy shoes. I also feel that my, my Stuart Weissman um, nudists are super sexy too. So I have I have two super sexy shoes. Um, but the Stuart Weissmans are 105 millimeters and the Soulcates are 120 millimeters and I've had them for two years and I've worn them a ton of times and they're for me I feel like it's starting to really be uncomfortable when I first got them I felt like it was worth the struggle to walk in them because I was so obsessed with them and I love them so much and I wanted to wear them but now that I've had them for two years I'm like this is ridiculous I really am having a hard time walking in them um, I'm a little self-conscious when I wear them because I you know I'm afraid I'm gonna trip or something on the you know while I'm walking so it's like I literally wear these shoes in like terror um, and not that I don't love them because I will never sell them I love them they also are like lingerie <laughs> so um, I definitely wear them while I'm in the house <laughs> so so I will never get rid of them but I wanted to make them I, I wanted to try to make them a little more comfortable and a little more easier to walk in and stuff like that so I am going out for dinner with some friends next weekend and I was like and I want I'm dressing up I, I bought this beautiful dress that I want to wear with my so Kate's. so I decided to <sighs> To get them cut down okay so here's the story I found out that you can actually cut down your heels on any type of shoe and I never even thought of this I just I just didn't even know that this was something that you can do um, and it has changed my life and I have plans to do it to other shoes but right now I don't want to do it to my other shoes just yet because I want to see how this works out but let me just show you I can't even compare the amount of I mean the difference in height but I will tell you that they were able to cut it down to five five millimeters off the heel but I had to go to a special place to get this done it's like a it's con, it's called a leather surgeon they're called leather surgeons and I had to take them so I took also if you're gonna cut down your designer shoes you need to go to a specialist that um, specializes in Christian Libertan shoes so you need to make sure that you go to someone who is very knowledgeable about these shoes and designer shoes in general so the place that I decided to go to was this place called Leather Spa and they have them everywhere you just have to look for them it's super bougie like the best like look at this bag that they give you it's like a bougie spot and it was like every single designer brand they know about I'm actually bringing my Chanel bag so that they can kind of like refresh it because my Chanel bag is kind of like slouchy so that's what I'm gonna take next they're leather surgeons so they fix everything that you have so let's say you have an old Chanel bag like I do or any other old bag that you've worn the hell out of but you want to kind of refresh you can do that there too which is great because you spent all this money and you want it to last and you don't want it worn out so that's another option that I didn't even think of so what I decided to have done on my shoes was one I got like I said I took that they were able okay here's here's the thing with these heels and it's gonna be inf that's why I'm saying this is a very informative video it's gonna be a little long so I hope you have like some wine or something uh, okay so this heel you can't even see the difference I literally when I got them back I was shocked I thought that it was gonna change the the shoe it did absolutely nothing it actually looks exactly the same he only the guy was only able to take off five millimeters because all of this is metal this is a metal 
pole um, which makes sense because this heel is so thin that of course it's gonna be made out of metal so it's all metal to the end like to the bottom and there's only five millimeters of no metal so that's the most that they can take off of this heel it's called a lift and you can do a lift on any shoe it just depends on you know what this is made of but you can they, they say you can go up to like three lifts which is crazy so it's called it's called a lift what I also decided to do was to get the um, Vibram this thing here all right I never wanted to do Vibram I just felt like it was tacky but here's the thing that changed my mind on the Vibram um, it has grip you can hear that and it may it softens okay because I've had these, I've, I've tried them on since I got them back and I tried them in the house. So I can tell you only based on the house, the differences that I feel. This gives me so much more of a better grip when I walk. And it also helps soften the steps, if that makes any sense. Like I don't feel as much pressure on my heel because this is, it softens it for some reason. Um, also what I like about this, it's true, it's always going to stay red like this and this is going to help preserve the heel. I mean, you spend all this money on these shoes, you might as well have something like this that's going to protect them so they can last long because what happens is, ultimately, let me show you, ultimately what's going to happen is just like these, which I'm going to do next, this is going to happen. And right here this is gonna happen and this isn't cute like you want it to look nice and fresh like look at the difference hold on look how pretty look how, how much neater this looks this looks like chipped nail polish and this looks so sleek and clean so that in itself I mean this is so bad I also have on this some clear tape the clear stuff that uh, protect your pump I use that on all my shoes this is like the protect your pump that's a very popular thing um, it also people like to use screen protector stickers or whatever that's all fine and dandy and it works but like it's gonna eventually look like this anyway so you're gonna have to like keep well I have this on and it's this still happens so it still can happen even with that clear thing and then also it's not gonna help with walking in these because it's still paint and it's still like gonna be difficult to walk in whereas with this at least you have like somewhat of a grip it's gonna help you with your traction it's gonna help you walk with these better so I was like I'm totally hooked on the Vibram and I mean I'm gonna do these next for sure so it so it's Vibram and also with the Vibram I want to stress make sure that the Vibram that do not order separate Vibram make sure that the place that you go to has their own Vibram um these come in different textures and, and like there are a little there's definitely a lot of different ones for these just make sure that the place that you go to um has their own vibram and knows how to put this on i cannot stress enough how much i love this place leather spa i'm gonna post a link down below but down below is amazing i spent to get the heel cut and to get the vibram on i spent 72 dollars which isn't bad to me um and I plan to do it with all my shoes to preserve them because I've spent so much money on these shoes that I want to wear them and I want to preserve them. Um, I will say that when I tried these on, I felt the difference in the heel as well. I felt less pressure, if that makes any sense. I felt less pressure on my ankles because that was the issue. Like, I have one ankle that's a little weak. <laughs> And you can't have weak ankles with this and you need to walk really straight like you can't even be like you can't be bow-legged like you need to be like <laughs> like straight up so that I felt a difference I felt less pressure on my ankles um, and that alone hello that's great I'm like really happy that that even happened also what I have on here it's a little dirty is a very thin insole not a thick insole this is a very thin one and I made, I purposely bought my shoes, a these are 37, um, I am a 37, I, f I feel like these shoes are true to size, um, but when I bought them they were like a tad bit loose which was fine, so I like that I had that space because I was able to put this in there and I feel like that's really important. So at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was really really terrified, um, I was really really scared if you followed me on Snap, um, let me know if you're my Snap fam, I'll put that down below. Uh, 
if you guys were following me during that day, <laughs> I was really, really scared but also excited because I wanted just some relief, like just some ankle relief because I love my showcase so much and I've been wanting to wear them more often and the only reason that I don't is because I just have a hard time walking in them and I feel like it's getting harder for me. I, I mean, two years ago, another thing I will say, if you are thin in these, you're going to have an easier time. Like, if you're, I, that's my opinion because when I, when I first got these, I definitely was like 10 pounds lighter and they I used to just prance through the town with these so I will maybe I feel this is just my opinion I feel because I gained a little bit of weight maybe like you know <laughs> you know it's a little harder to like walk in these but that's just me I don't know I just feel like these are better for thin girls because really thin girls could just pr like walk like <laughs> so easily in these they're a little harder when you're heavier so, all right, whatever. So I gained some weight. So now I have to freaking <laughs> do what I had to do so that I can wear these. Um, but at first I was like really, really scared. But I'm so happy that I did this. And their service was impeccable. And now this has just opened up so many like ideas of things that I can kind of refresh and wear. And, you know, just refresh things. Because like I didn't even know that. I'll stop with this hair. I didn't even know that they even like took care of designer bags and and just you know fixed those things as well. So I wanted to let you girls know that there is some <laughs> relief to this if you are having a hard time wearing them, and I know that a lot of people are. And I'm not gonna lie and and suffer and pretend that these things are easy to walk in because they're not at first because I was so excited and I was thinner they were easy to walk in but now they've gotten so hard that I barely ever want to wear them and I love wearing them because my husband loves when I'm in them like er, er, during our day night like I just feel so sexy when I'm in them so I was just like I just said I'm just gonna try because these things weren't being used I was like usually just using more of my comfortable shoes and I really wanted to wear these would I ever buy another 120 I don't think so I think I'm just gonna stick to 100s because I just feel like they're just more realistic to walk in and that I just feel like they're just easier to walk in but I think you already know that. I think a lot of people already know that this is really tough. But I also think that everybody should have at least one pair. <laughs> so this is my one pair and this is it. I don't think I'd ever get another pair of these because I feel like it's a waste. And I just won't, I mean, honestly, I just wouldn't buy another pair of these ever again. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Also... Make sure that you put on your notifications for when I post a video. And make sure you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I love Snapchat, by the way, because I love to talk to you girls. Actually, I really love Snapchat. So come and follow me on Snapchat because I really love you guys talking to me. I answer all your snaps. So I just am obsessed with Snapchat. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe you guys will try it and let me know if you're interested in doing it because I think that it's worth it. And I am wearing them next weekend, so I'm super excited. And I wanted to share this information with you as I learn these things. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.